hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, yes, before people start to complaining about the shadow on the paper from my hand, I'm so sorry, I got a new desk lamp and <laughs> I, I don't know, I didn't realize the shadow while painting and sorry. Uh, it will get better after a while, it's just that dark in the beginning. But uh, I promise in my next video, video, I um, yes, I will turn this lamp off, and so the shadow comes from the other side. And because of the shadow, I thought it's maybe a good idea to talk about shadows and lights today. I got the questions really often how how I decide where to put shadows or how I know where to put shadows and. Yes, so I thought I could answer it here now. Um, it's in general, it's really easy. So um, the <laughs> you you see it here on my thing when the light comes from the left, uh, from the right, the shadows go to the left. So um, it's it's easy because everything that's in the way of the light going to the going to the ground or to, to something, everything that's on the way of the light will throw a shadow. Of course, the deeper the lamp or the light is, the longer are the shadows and stuff, but in general it's really easy. And uh, But the best thing you learn how it, light and shadow, where to put light and shadow, is really to have an understanding for it, also an understanding for the forms you are painting. Not only where to put shadows, you also have to, to understand how the forms are. You should uh, think a bit 3D also when you paint 2D. And Yes, this is important and I think the best way to learn and to understand light and shadows and about forms is really to paint from observation or from reality and yeah, so go outside and paint, <laughs> paint and get a view for light and shadow. When I go through the world, I really started to abstract things and to see just light and shadows sometimes I or how light behaves on objects this is really interesting and this is a thing I didn't do before it's just since I started to paint but all this is also the same when I watch movies or something I sometimes <laughs> really concentrate how how light and shadows behave on scenes in a movie and this is really interesting and really can help you to understand how it, how light and shadows work. And uh, yes, and the best thing is really to paint it, not only to understand it, try to understand it. This is also really helpful, of course, but you you keep it in your better in your mind when you paint it, when you already did it, so you. You remember it from for the next time you paint something like this, you, and you can use it. So just go out and paint, or painting while watching a movie. This also really can be helpful. And another good exercise is um, what I also did a lot in the past is <laughs> I, when I waited that the sun outside is down and not that bright outside anymore and I turned all lights off and put uh, got some small light and a mirror and I moved watch while watching me in the mirror I moved the the light around my head and yeah watching the shadows moving in my face and try to understand it and this was also really helpful and maybe you have a friend who can help you he do this for you so you don't need a mirror and you can painting him with different shadows and lights in his face so ask him for putting the lamp behind his 
head or putting the lamp from the le left on the upper right from above or from the front so you can s paint the same thing the <laughs> sorry the same th thing um, with different shadows this is really helpful and the same uh, yeah and the, um, also very helpful is the practice uh, I did uh, after I already understand it, it, it with light and shadow how it works um, and I already know how it works you maybe don't know what looks best on your painting you want to, to, to draw and this is also very important because uh, sh light or the shadows are a big yeah a big part of the composition of your painting and you can use it as a composition part of the composition so to direct views of the of the viewer and to yes to it really makes sometimes the painting to make good shadows and so um, it's maybe very helpful to make uh, before you started to paint to make thumbnails this is really helpful in my opinion I, I still do it a lot when I do more complex paintings and I'm not sure hmm, what could be better when the light comes from above right or from the left or from above or, or from the front or maybe not only one uh, one light, maybe two lights, especially in interiors, could be more lights. And so it's really helpful to make thumbnails before you start to paint, or if you wanted to make it more complex, uh, you can scan your pre drawing and print it out on cheaper paper in uh, smaller versions, maybe four or six versions, uh, different. Uh, prints of your of your pre-drawing and you can yeah try out shadows with a light copy marker on on this paper and yes and try it out from different angels the light from different angels and see what looks best on your drawing you can also by the way <laughs> do it with uh, colors this is what I also do sometimes when I use colors that I don't use that often or com color combinations I'm not sure if they are good or not so always print out a small version or make a thumbnail of a small version of your drawing and test it on as a small thing on yes and different different <laughs> colors and different shadows on and yeah, on the thumbnails. Um, yes, this is a really helpful tip. And after a while, you will get really used to it and don't need to do that that often anymore. So you know already what you where to put shadows and how they look, how they will look when you paint. And then you don't need to test it before. And yes, as Almost everything in painting and drawing, it's all about practice and experience. So you don't need to read everything about in books. Just paint, as I always say, just paint and do. Yes, don't be too too frustrated when you, it don't work at the first time. Some sometimes things needs time, and but don't give up because you only can get better <laughs> when you use it and uh, yes and it's not bad uh, also in the last video so many people said to me that this that they have also the problem to start with the painting just because they are too afraid to mess it up it's really not it really don't help when you don't paint it's uh, you, it's really the most important thing is just painting and you will get better automatically and learn from what you're doing also when you fail and failing is not a bad thing failing is you will learn from failures as much as you learn from 
from uh, success. <laughs> well, but I know it's sometimes frustrating. I, I know this too, but keep on painting and drawing and this. I hope this video was a bit video video was a bit helpful and I hope to see you in my next one. <laughs> uh, bye and thank you for watching.